The world of amphibians is very diverse and intriguing, with over 7,000 unique species recognized across the world. Most of these are frogs and toads, but the second largest portion is salamanders. These adorable critters look like a cross between a lizard and a frog, but their physical appearance is only one of the many awesome features of these animals. Now, as amphibians, salamanders must remain moist at all times. Some species, such as amphuma or hellbenders, spend almost their entire lives in the water, but others, like spotted salamanders, are commonly found under logs far away from a water source. On a recent adventure to the Blue Ridge Mountains, I was able to find a plethora of different species near a small creek. These ancient mountains actually have the highest diversity of salamander species of any habitat in the world, something that many people don't know. Now all salamanders have one thing in common, they are carnivores. Although small and adorable, these amphibians prey on insects, spiders, and occasionally even smaller salamanders. They do not have any special method of eating their prey, opting to overpower and swallow meals whole. But what they lack in offensive tactics, they make up for in their defense. Hiding under rocks and logs during the daytime hours is the most common predator avoiding tactic, and if they happen to get caught in the open, it is usually by a water source that they can retreat into. Even when all of the above fail, many salamanders secrete mildly to severely toxic compounds from glands in their tails or near their heads as a last resort to deter a predator. Scientists have even witnessed a recently eaten newt crawl back out of the mouth of a bullfrog who was killed by the poison in less than a minute. Unfortunately, while salamanders are excellent at defending themselves against natural foes, they have little protection against human-caused perils. As amphibians, these animals have extremely sensitive skin, and so are highly susceptible to many common water pollutants such as household cleaners, sediment runoff from construction sites, and petroleum products. Because of increasing amounts of these compounds, Salamander populations are on the decline, with around one half of all known species listed as threatened, and over 60 more are near threatened. Want to help preserve these amazing animals? You can start by being mindful about the kinds of things you are putting into local water systems. Stopping the use of fertilizers and herbicides, and limiting detergent and soap usage saves money and helps keep freshwater ecosystems amphibian friendly. Once you have started these practices, and others like them, spread the word with your friends and family. Well everybody, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed, and learned something new about salamanders. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe right now for new wildlife content coming every Thursday morning. Thank you, and have a wild day. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.